So guys, unfortunately the time has finally come and Tesla is officially ending support for Hardware 3. Now we're not quite as surprised as this has been the exact same chip running all the latest FSD builds ever since it was first introduced 5 years back. Hardware 3 has been a tremendously capable chip surpassing all expectations even from the company itself. It was so good that even with the introduction of Hardware 4, Tesla continued to optimize for Hardware 3 utilizing all of of its processing power. All in all, it had a really good lifespan compared to any of its siblings. Hardware 2 had a life period of around 2 years and Hardware 4 even less than that at around one and a half years before it was superseded by the next generation. So as you know by now, Hardware 5 is just about 18 months out according to Elon. That means that we are going to be getting one of the biggest upgrades ever since the introduction of the full self-driving chip. This is going to further expand the gap of the full self-driving chip Tesla is optimizing for right now and what we're going to be seeing 5 to 10 years down the line. If you want to know more about the ETA and if you should wait or not, definitely go check out my previous video. We went down low on all the details, every little thing that you want to know about Hardware 5 is in that video. Definitely check that out. I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there. But there's going to be various different links in the description as well. You guys can go through all of them to see all the type of things we will be getting. Now, with Hardware 3's really impressive track record, Tesla is still trying to utilize every little bit of power remaining out of this chip. However, to be quite honest, the days are limited and Tesla has recently confirmed this as they are moving on to their next generation AI model which Hardware 3 is no longer capable of. Given the constraints of processing this chip is able to do, Tesla has pushed the development exceeding the compute of this single node. This means that as of right now, Tesla is relying on both CPUs on the board to handle full self-driving. Obviously, this isn't the best way forward, being that the redundancy node is utilized at all time, but it does open up a lot more potential of what this chip is able to handle. Now, looking back, according to Elon, during their 2022 Q for earnings call, it'll be a long time before they reach the full potential of Hardware 3 and Hardware 4 was truly not necessary. Well, this didn't turn out to be true and although Hardware 4 brings much better camera resolution, the main concern is going to be the full self-driving chip that this brings. In a turn of event, just last week Elon confirmed on Twitter that Hardware 3 has finally reached this time. Although limiting factors such as camera resolution plays a part into the advanced of software, the real bottleneck is the CPU and what it's able to handle, and according to recent tweet by Elon, the next generation AI model increases the parameter counts by 5 times. Now for those of you out there that aren't in the software world, you can think of parameters like little pieces of data joined together to create a function. And to simply put, future iterations of full self-driving is going to take account many aspects of its drive surrounding. This means a lot of those small data points are going to need processing to be able to create that one function. So given the computing power required, you can see how the current autopilot computer is just not enough and it's going to run into major bottlenecks. Seeing that Hardware 4 is approximately 8 times more powerful on a single node than that of Hardware 3, you can expect Hardware 4 once utilized to be very powerful to be able to handle all this new input that's coming into the chip. So with that being said, Elon states that it is very hard to achieve the next generation AI model without upgrading the vehicle's interference computer. This is not to say that there won't be minor fixes and improvements, but as you have seen with the autopilot stack outside of North America, once they've dropped support, you barely ever see any new updates coming out. And in terms of a possible retrofit in the future, Elon has turned this idea down completely and the only way moving forward is for you to upgrade to a brand new vehicle. It's definitely an unfortunate scenario, but I would say that it is no fault of anyone. Technology just age when the year goes by and now it's gone to the point where they can no longer optimize for this older chip that is near crossing 6 years now. It is just insane how far Hardware 3 has come and the fact that it is even being optimized today and running the latest builds of full self-driving 
this is really impressive to say the least. Having said all that, I do know that there was a promise for full self-driving even with the current hardware 3 that is in your vehicles today. But look on the positive side, the car can practically drive itself from point A to point B and with the recent software update, it is able to do it without any nudge to the steering wheel. All you need to do is just pay attention to the road in front of you and it will handle all the driving. Added to all this, we've recently just got with the spring update, the new Tesla Vision Park Assist, Auto Park and the Smart Summon coming up. They pretty much fill up the full self-driving feature complete stack, meaning that they have actually fulfilled everything that they promised on the website. So all in all, not a very bad package, even if you have a car without all the latest sensors and hardware inside. And according to Elon, we are still about six months away until hardware 4 is fully optimized to reach the level of hardware 3. So for the very time being, even if you are sitting in an older car or you are planning to get a car with hardware 3, you still have all the very latest features that you can get from Tesla today. So this is what you guys can get excited about even if you pick up a car that is not the 2024 version. So yeah, there you have it. This is what's happening in the next few months and we will start likely seeing the differences between the two type of hardware by sometime in 2025. My recommendation is that if you can get a really good trade-in deal for your hardware 3 Tesla right now for the latest generation hardware 4, do it before the market starts to realize that hardware 3 is no longer supported. But on the flip side, if you are happy with your car and all the features that is available today, if you are in no rush to upgrade, definitely wait out for Hardware 5. Once that gets released 18 months from now, you will see one of the biggest upgrades ever. Anyways guys, I will continue to keep an eye out on everything that comes out. So definitely stick around and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. Over there, you guys can chat with me, DM with me, and I will try to respond spawn as quickly as possible to every single one of you. This should be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.